takes a bit of suffering Sleepless nights and wandering Before you make it safely to the end The end, the end <laughs> Now you're gonna try to hide my lighting Angel. <laughs> I just want my scenes to be well lit. Hi, I'm Victoria Rose. Welcome to my channel. I'm just gonna be real with you. Life's not glamorous, my life especially. And do you guys remember old Yuki here? We have some things to talk about today. Namely, I'm selling her, but I wanted to like give a little tribute to Yuki. She has served me very well. And let's be real, Yuki is immortal. So if you want an immortal Jeep, starts up. Every time, she will not die. She refuses. We'll talk about what's gonna happen to her and you guys can have the ability to get her if you want. We're gonna talk about our solar situation and solar setup on the camper. We're going to see how much progress we can make in this video. I'm very excited that today's sponsor is Jackery. I've been wanting to work with Jackery for so long because obviously power is one of the most important things in your rig or overlanding or whatever. And this has been something that I've been thinking about a lot in terms of how am I gonna get my power because I have a lot of things to power. So I got Jackery's Explorer 1000 battery and Jackery Solar Sage 200 solar panel, which is big but folds up, so it's all obviously very compact and portable. This one has a 1500 watt output, which is 50% more than previous generations. So this thing can power lots of different things like refrigerators, cooking stoves, fans, blenders, you name it. It's really hot, like I'm in the direct sunlight as usual, so I'm like boiling. Well, let's put on a fan just to show you. Right now it's charging off the Jackery Solar Saga 200 solar panel. I'm just gonna plug this in, which just has a bunch of different ports. Oh, how lovely. <laughs> Who says you have to go without in the wilderness? I'm not in the wilderness, but as you guys know, when I was traveling in my Jeep, I had it set up for solar. Having this battery and then having a solar panel on top and just continuously charging and you can just plug things into it all the time works perfectly for a vehicle rig. Now, with my new setup in my camper, I need backup power, portable power as well. Having the Jackery power bank on hand is gonna help me a lot. And this is super fast charging, it goes from zero to 100% in an hour. And it has 4,000 life cycles, which just means that it can last like 10 years with constant use. I think it's, this is gonna be the last warm day like this of this year in this area anyways. I'm planning on going west. So, so the 1000 V2 solid battery. One thing I really like about the solar panels, it comes with a cord that you can charge your phone, USB and USB-C port, straight from the solar panel. It has a excellent conversion efficiency as 200 watts power rating. You can set this thing up in 60 seconds. It also has a laminated case and IP68 waterproof rating. So go search for Jackery Prime Big Deal Days and Jackery Solar Generator 1000 V2 to learn more about the product, get a good deal. Don't worry, it's hardy. Just having one of these on hand is incredibly useful. I heavily relied on my portable battery, so I don't have to worry so much if I successfully get the solar panels attached to my camper or not, because I will at least have this as a power source, so I will have power regardless. So it's time to clean out this Jeep. We've had a lot of solo adventures in here. I got her at 250,000 miles and she now has 280,000 miles. So. I first took her west. No, I took her to North Carolina first and then took her west and didn't know anything about anything. I'd say it was a good learner Jeep for sure. I replaced a lot of parts on her, converted the whole back and installed solar and I'll sell her with the solar and the battery maybe some other things. We'll see what we find in here. I took her out west from the huge cactuses in Arizona to the white sand in New Mexico and to the endless skies in Northern California. I've even taken her to Canada. I mean, don't get me wrong, we've broken down a few times, but she's never left me stranded, honestly. But she does have her little quirks, of course, but all old vehicles do. She has a little bit of an oil leak, needs a bit of priming whenever you first start her. She starts on the second time, every time. She's always been like that. It's never it's not really a huge issue. But Yuki teaches you a little bit of patience. She also has a, little, has a little crack in the windshield from when I was driving to one of my favorite places in Utah. Anyways, if you've been here a while, you've seen all the adventures. Enough reminiscing. I hope she, she goes to a good home and has more adventures. If one of you guys want her, I'll put the link in the description for the eBay listing and you can come and pick her up. But whoever gets her, gets her. Once I get it all cleaned out, I'm gonna take some pictures and then put her up for sale. So I am slowly getting her all cleaned out and I wanted to show you guys the things that I f I'm gonna keep in her and sell her with. I'm gonna sell her as like an overlanding 
vehicle, I guess, because some of this stuff I'm just, it's not really of use to me because I have a different setup now. I'll be including the solar panel on top and then the battery. I'm also gonna be including the electric pump water because like I said, I'm gonna, I already have water in the camper. So whoever gets her gets this lovely thing. I'm even going to include the bed and the two different mats I have because now I have a queen size bed, so I don't really need that anymore. And there's only, I can't take everything with me and I don't wanna leave it at my mom's. So I'm gonna leave it in here. This tent that you can put up on here, because again, I have a truck now, I don't need that. I'm gonna include the stove. I'm gonna include all of the covers for the windows, dash cam stuff included. We're gonna go and check in on the camper and see how that's going, Mr. Rogers neighborhood style. Come on, let's go check in on the camper. <laughs> camper. Back in the camper front, I got the kitchen pretty much done, resealed the roof again, and now I'm going to start reattaching all my cupboards. And we're sorting out the crank situation. Took it apart, looks like it's... I don't know what's wrong with it, honestly. I'm just going to figure it out and then let you guys know after the fact because we've had enough problems or you guys seen enough problems I'm just trying to get through this day we got some propane at tractor supply I got a new propane tank just to be on the safe side also mine got expired so I couldn't use it so we're gonna test out all the propane appliances which I'm really nervous about because if there's a leak somewhere that's gonna be terrible I also got a new gas detector we're gonna install that as well I don't know I've never actually worked with this type of stuff before in campers I've never used the propane facilities or whatever so we're gonna test the stove the propane for the fridge the heater oh I got this whole 20 pound thing of propane and I'm gonna see if this fits in. Oh, okay. I'm not as strong as I once was. God. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, okay. Please fit. So we just put this in simply like this. <laughs> Okay, oh, she fits. I'm having a little help with this from outside sources. I'm not doing this all by myself because I don't, like I said, I don't want to blow anything up. I'm going to turn it on now. We just take this top here, it's connected right here. I'm going to turn it on and then we have some stuff to do over here. Okay, she's, she's on and doesn't seem like it's leaking from there, so that's good. But we want to make sure that there is no leaking gas, so we're going to do a little smell check around. Die. So we're gonna test the stove first thing and I don't think the self-igniting thing works so I have to use uh, this for it. So we're gonna see if the stove, if the gas is getting to the stove. Did you see that? It still works. Right. One of one. Let's see the other stuff. I've been trying to light this fridge. Thing for a while now like first we were just looking everywhere to see oh where do you find the flame to see if it's even lit finally found it everything is so it takes so long to figure out anything it's not lighting mind you the guy who did sell me this said that everything worked but we know he's not an honest man so basically you turn it to high you push it down and you push this but you can't even there's no spark like I, I'm not hearing anything like I know the gas is running through because the stove is working it's not even lighting <sighs> It's just like nothing has been simple with this camper. I think because months of working on this camper and everything just being completely just not worth it on it, I, I'm getting like so much more frustrated with these types of things because I just, I'm so sick of every single thing not working. And the reason that you don't see a lot of these camper 
tips being, uh, these tips can be being like, redone and stuff, because it's, it's genuinely not worth it. And the reason that I'm doing this is because I have invested so much into it, time, money, all this thing, so I do have to finish it, but it's not out of the choice. Like if I were to get this originally and knew, knew what was gonna happen with everything, obviously I wouldn't have bought it. And I want to be real of this process is not fun. We're gonna keep trying to figure it out and I'll update you after. In the meantime, I just need to kind of just, so obviously you're gonna see that she has a lot of dings. You've seen on my my channel of the stuff. You know, she has lots of scuffs everywhere. Whenever, if you do buy this, you're gonna notice that um, She's not perfect by any means. Please do not buy her. I'm gonna probably sell her like as is just because I don't want anyone like buying her and realizing, oh, she's not in pristine condition because she's nowhere in near pristine condition. And also the headliner has little rips and stuff in it. So be wary of that. Obviously I'm gonna give you guys some oil to take with you because she has an oil leak. Um, the jacks, the power stuff. I'm going to include the bed. She is in very used shape. A little update. After having a temper tantrum, which I need to do often to get my emotions out, <laughs> we um, started fiddling with stuff in there more and air, copper wire, whatever it is, to the ignition for propane on the fridge is just completely corroded. So that does not work. And I was really distraught because I was thinking that was hooked up to the heater, but it's not. The heater is a separate thing. And we tried the heater and it did spark and it did actually ignite, but we smelled a little bit of gas. So we turned it off right away, but we're gonna try it again after reading some stuff on Google and see if that smell goes away. We're gonna, we're gonna try to turn this on again, full blast and let it, it, it ignites itself. So we're not gonna stay in here while it's... If you see in here, it ignites itself after a second. Okay, there. You can see the flame with that gas smell. I'm gonna get out of here now because it's starting to smell like gas and hopefully that smell goes away because if it does, then that means our heater works and I'll be very happy. We've left it running for about like five minutes now and the gas smell went away. Now what it's smelling now is I can smell a lot of like burning stuff, which I read is quite normal after you haven't ran the furnace for a long time because some stuff burns off and it's heating up perfectly fine. So everything works except for the propane on the fridge. Let's let the stuff burn off and see if that burning smell kind of goes away. Or maybe it will light the whole camper on fire. I don't know, I'm okay with that too. The smell is coming from the vent right here. It's not on the inside, it's just on the outside. And it's kind of just blowing with the wind. So that's what we're smelling through there. It is warming up. It is warm. That is warm. Nothing smells in here. I got one of these for my wish list, which you guys recommended I get a new propane gas and carbon monoxide detector. So we're gonna hook that up too. Moving along, we figured out the heating works and we spent a lot of the day just figuring out that it works. We didn't actually do much to it. So I finished putting up some contact paper on the counters. I'm going to unbox the solar that I got to put on the top. And I wanted to get this done in today's video, but of course everything takes such a long time. I've been working on trying to sell the Jeep at the same time. I got two different kinds. I don't know how that's gonna work. It came with these two solar panels, which are very lightweight and flexible, which was the main thing, because if you guys know anything about my roof, it's that it can't handle anything. They are very lightweight. It came with a solar charge controller and then some bags of wires with no instructions. So this will be so fun. So this is it. It's like a paper solar panel. Look how thin. So that should not put too much weight on the roof at all. It is very thin. But this is the other brand, which is nice and lightweight and smaller actually. up the staples that are in here which is very simple and I got this natural fiber rug off of my wish list I'm gonna try to make this work because again I'm going for the adventure theme so it's quite thick so I don't know
Good morning. It's another day. It's going to be raining for the next four days, so we only have one day of sunlight today to try and get this solar underway. I'm trying to get everything done within the next couple weeks, so there's a lot to do, and I'm rushing around trying to do everything. So we're headed to Home Depot right now. We got the solar as I showed you, and now we're going to try to attach everything. Here in Home Depot, and they never have what I need, ever. Every time I've been here, I've never found what I've actually needed. So hopefully we'll be able to find the things we need, which is mostly stuff to, for setting up the solar, but I don't know if they're well-equipped with the solar here. So the main thing we need is the cords. And to um, adhere these solar panels, we're gonna not screw them, we're gonna like caulk adhesive them. So hopefully that works, I've never done that before. Got the Jeep listed on eBay, so if you want, you can buy her. Okay, so far we found some flex tubing and some clamps just for the wires for the, the solar panels and then some little screws because my stove is, <laughs> the wood is pretty kind of rotten so the screw is not going anymore so I need like bigger screws to mount it down. I definitely need a new fridge but I was looking them up and it's too expensive so I don't know what to do about that. It's really disappointing. Every single time without fail Home Depot is a disappointment every single time. I cannot find anything I ever want. So we didn't find actually anything, just the stuff that I showed you, which I could just order on Amazon. That's why this takes so long, because there's always random little things that you need. You can't actually get it in store, so you have to order it off of Amazon, and it just, it just makes everything take so much longer. No luck at Home Depot at all, which is very annoying, but we can still start with the solar anyways. This is the battery that was in here. We're definitely gonna need more battery but for now we're hooking this up just to get everything situated. So I'm putting positive to positive. So I'm screwing this in right here, and then we're gonna go in with the negative to negative. And we have a little reading coming through. Okay, so this is the moment of truth. We have the, the controller box hooked up to the battery, and now we're just gonna hook up the solar panels to see if we have this hooked up the right way. I hope nothing explodes. And there she is. It says solar panel now and it's charging. All right, so as yeah. usual, nothing is simple in this camper. I think I put the wrong cushion to the wrong, now that I'm looking at it. It was nice that hooking up the solar to the controller, seeing that work, at least that works, but now the battery, trying to hook up the battery to figure out how it hooks up to, to power the camper with the battery. That's what we're trying to figure out. We cannot figure it out. I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, I'll just show you a couple of the things that I did on the inside just to, you know, spruce it up or whatever. Hopefully in the next video we'll have the solar all figured out and attached. It is a grand mess in here, but this is what I got done for the back cushions. Um, they're all maps. And then it replaced this carpet with some natural fiber carpet. I redid all the contact paper up here and everything is a mess, but you get the idea. And then I pretty much got done with the kitchen, kitchen, and so that's what the kitchen's looking like. Got the stove works. Put up the blinds and stuff still, but it's going to be raining for the next four days. Everything has been resealed a couple different times, so we'll see if it still leaks. This is the end of an era of Yuki the Jeep. We've had a good two years with her. Um, again, if you want to own her, link below. It's not a perfect vehicle in any way, shape, or form, but you guys kind of know. We'll figure everything out and continue on the adventure very, very soon. Hopefully, in the next video, I'll um, see if she sells even. I don't even know. I'm starting her at 3500 I at least hope she sells for that. Hopefully. I don't know. We'll see. Stay extraterrestrial. I will see you in the next video. Bye.